pulmonary ventilation, or breathing, is induced by changes in the volume of the lungs and the air pressure within them. During normal inhalation, the diaphragm and external intercostal muscles contract and the ribcage elevates. As the volume of the lungs increases, air pressure in the lungs drops below atmospheric pressure and air rushes in. During normal exhalation, the muscles relax, the lungs become smaller, pressure inside them rises, and air is expelled. Boyle's Law explains this relationship between volume and air pressure. An increase in the volume of a container lowers the pressure of the air inside. A decrease in the volume raises pressure in the reduced space. The body's demand for more oxygen can change normal breathing to forced breathing. Additional muscles increase the changes in volume of the thoracic cavity so that more air can pass in and out Inside the lungs, rapidly. oxygen from the air is exchanged for waste carbon dioxide from the bloodstream. This process of external respiration takes place in hundreds of millions of microscopic sacs called alveoli. Oxygen from inhaled air diffuses from the alveoli into the pulmonary capillaries surrounding them and is pumped through the bloodstream. Carbon dioxide from oxygen-depleted blood diffuses from the capillaries into the alveoli and is expelled through exhalation.